Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some secrets with you. I wanna break down the exact vocal chain that I used on my track Touchdown, the one that I made in Switzerland last month. I am far from the only person going after this vocal sound. I feel like I've heard it in a bunch of EDM tracks but uh, I will break down for you exactly how I approached it. I wanted to share this as soon as I came up with it. I thought it was just a really great sound that you guys would be interested in, and then uh, someone actually commented on that very video that they wanted to know what my vocal chain was, so perfect serendipity. Oh, I, I missed. Th this is serendipity. I don't know sign language. So first let's take a look at the raw vocal. I think I'm gonna play it back with lip sync footage from that video, and uh, it's about to look a lot less cool. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down. It's coast to coast, I run. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a duplicate of that track. And if we go into the track properties, you'll see that I've raised the pitch by one octave. I'm using the Complex Pro algorithm. I find it's the best one for vocal material. It has more flexibility with uh, what you can make it sound like. Formant set to 77 and envelope left at 128, which is the default. That track is also three decibels quieter than our main vocal. So I'll play you just the pitch shifted track by itself. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down. It's coast to coast, I run. Now, a substitution for this would be to sing the same thing again an octave up, and I use that more often actually, but for this particular sound, having the exact double of the vocal one octave up landed a little bit more of a, kind of an otherworldly sound to it. So here they are together. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down, it's coast to coast, I run. So now we can look at our effects chain. I'm using eight plugins and uh, you have to buy all of them. <laughs> they're from a number of different companies and uh, I think they're all really worth the money if you can save up. That said, I'm gonna break down why I used each one, what they're each doing, and hopefully uh, you can understand the principles of what's involved and recreate this with plugins you may already have. First up is chorus. Check out these settings. I'm using it very lightly just to add a little bit of butter to these vocals. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch the down. It's coast to coast, I run. Ableton Saturator is next, and I probably put this on 99% of my vocals to varying degrees, and I literally use the default preset, but just dial in the drive to different amounts. In our example today, it's at five decibels. And as you're about to hear, this just warms things up a little bit. I feel like it slightly compresses things as well, and uh, just kind of glues it a little. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down. It's coast to coast, I run. Next up, we're warming it up a little more with Sausage Fattener, which is one of my favorite plugins for this kind of job. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down, it's coast to coast, I run. The next thing in the chain is probably the hardest to replace. It's really a magical plugin that does a lot of things to the signal. It's from Waves and Tony Maserati. It's called the Maserati VX1. This thing is a great compressor, and then there's optional EQ, reverb, and delay, and it just makes vocals pop. I started with a preset called RWL Close Glammy ADT, whatever that means, and I uh, just tweaked it a little bit. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down, it's coast to coast, I run. Next we have a de also from Waves, but all de are pretty much the exact same thing. Let's see it reduce some sibilance. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down, it's coast to coast, I run. I guess you can see it was also kind of dipping on some non-S sounds, but still sounded good. Now we already have some reverb on there through the VX1, but I'm gonna add some more with the Lexicon 224 reverb from Universal Audio. It is a favorite reverb of mine for uh, just a really lush sense of space, good for 80s stuff, very smooth tone. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down, it's Coast to coast, I run. So we've got two reverbs on there, now I'm gonna add a second compressor. I often use Ableton's compressor as one of the last things in my chain with a very quick attack time to just squash down any transients that might be popping through. Pound it, I break pavement when I touch down, it's coast to coast, I run. And finally, last in our chain, we have Fab Filter Pro Q2. I'm just doing a low cut, you can do this with any EQ, but I like the workflow with this one a lot. You can just click anywhere to add new points. Each one's a different color, which is 
Nice. A lot of curves to select from. There's graphical feedback of any audio that's passing through it. I've got this dropping off around 95 hertz, but you'll just want to adjust this based on what the lowest note in your song is. Found it. I break pavement when I touch down. It's coast to coast I run. And that's it. That is the secret sauce. You'll notice I didn't do any other EQ. I just got rid of any possible bass frequencies that might have mucked with other stuff. Hold on. My fan is going nuts from recording the screen. I don't know how much that's picking up. So yeah, my EQing philosophy with vocals is pretty much to not do it. If anything, I will EQ other stuff to let my vocal come through better rather than EQing the vocal itself. This song is called Touchdown. It's on a new EP I just put out called Cosmic, which is two new tracks and two tracks that are reworks from my album Cosmos that I put out last year. I think it sounds pretty hot. You should definitely check it out on iTunes and Spotify and Bandcamp and all those good places. Links below. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave a like and a comment if so. Also in Real Talk Zone, uh, thank you so much for the support that you guys gave me on last week's video where I talked about my uh, hearing issues. I was surprised and sorry to hear that there were a lot of other people who had also gone through uh, hearing issues similar to mine, but um, you know, solidarity, not being alone, that is kind of a nice silver lining. And just to respond to some of the things that came up in the comments, uh, I'll give you some more details about what's been going down uh, for the past 12 years. Uh, I have seen a few different doctors, uh, you know, audiologists, ear, nose, throat people, as well as just like general general doctors. No one has an explanation for anything, uh, although there were some interesting things pointed out in some comments that I might try and follow up on, stuff that I hadn't heard of before, but uh, there's no like wax blockage in there or fluid. I did have tubes as a kid, which uh, I know that is a common thing that affects adults later in life, uh, if they had tubes as a kid to deal with fluid from ear infections, uh, it does lead to this type of hearing loss. So that might be just what it is, and uh, while we don't know exactly why that's happened, uh, it's not exactly going to be reversible. Although I've heard of experimental and expensive surgeries, so who knows, maybe one day. I generally do not have any other symptoms with this. Some people said that there was nausea or numbness or uh, you know, different kind of things that were associated with other types of hearing loss that they'd heard about, and uh, that's not the case with me. I do have the very occasional bout of tinnitus that usually, you know, lasts for a minute of just like high-pitched ringing in my ears. That's like very few and far between. As far as treatment, I've tried things like the hydrogen peroxide cleaning, I've changed my diet, you know, um, I was off alcohol for a year, uh, no animal products for a long time. There was a point where I was taking something, I think it was magnesium that was supposedly helpful for ear blood circulation. I don't really remember. Long story short, nothing has worked yet, but I am still making music mostly pretty happily, and uh, thank you guys so much for your support, for listening, uh, for your comments, and uh, I will be back with another video in a few days. Bye. Wait, did we high five today? Wait, no, we totally did already. Okay, you get a bonus. Till you wake and everything was a dream. Till you turn into something with some meaning. Tearing the fabric of all your reality. Better do more than just cling to the seams.